Have you ever been in a situation where, gee, wouldn't it be nice that the camera would automatically switch to who the camera is going to track? This is really evident in a multi-presenter type scenario where there's going to be multiple people coming up to a particular part of the stage or a particular part of the room. And wouldn't it be nice that if when the camera detects more than one person, that it will automatically just say go to a preset. And then at this point, whoever walks off, the camera will then just begin to track whoever is left in the space. So if I ask Michael to join us to give a presentation and then I decide to leave the area, after about three or four seconds, the camera will realize there's only one person left and begin to track that person. So in this video, I'm going to go into detail on, on how to set this up, what to look for, and some pro AV tips to get this going. So hey everyone, my name is Rich Moscoso, and today I'm gonna to be talking about multi-presenter mode or multi-presenter detection. As always, I can be reached at rich.moscoso at aver.com. And so let's get into this here. So what is multi-presenter mode? When you're in a large room or space and there's a position in the room where you would like the camera to switch who it is you're tracking. For instance, there's a special guest speaker or perhaps several guest speakers uh, at the podium, or it's gonna be a situation where you're gonna be passing the mic, right? And wouldn't it be nice to be able to switch who the camera's tracking without the need to press a button, look for a remote, and that sort of thing, or send a command from a third-party controller? Obviously, you can today you can use click to track to change who the camera would track, but you will need someone right, to access the camera network using a Chrome browser or any of our many softwares like PTZ Management, Aver Camera Setting Tool, or Capture Share. I did mention that you can also use the camera remote or a third-party controller to switch uh, who the camera is going to track, but again, that entails a button press. And wouldn't it be nice for this to be done automatically? In this video, I'm going to spend some time in showing you how to set up in the configuration of multi-presenter mode. So, so the steps to achieve this, uh, this can be done using our Aver Pro AV cameras, such as uh, the new TR313V2, 333V2, with firmware 0.35 and later. Uh, one of the first things you're gonna wanna do is actually log in to the, um, the web UI of the camera using a Chrome browser. You're gonna go straight to tracking settings tab and then select presenter mode. Uh, I do wanna note here that multi-presenter detection will only work in presenter mode. Also make sure that effective tracking area is disabled uh, as it may affect the preset zone we need to configure. So keep in mind that if you do have effective tracking area enabled, uh, it's gonna limit how far the camera will pan or tilt. So it may also uh, inadvertently affect the way the multi-presenter detection works in the sense that the camera is not reaching the area that we're considering the multi-presenter area. So uh, preset zone, right? So our cameras support up to 256 presets. Uh, select one of those. In my example, I'm using preset 20. Uh, pro tip, uh, use a preset that is not being used for one of our other tracking modes, right? So we know in presenter mode, preset one is important. In zone tracking, presets six through nine are important. And then hybrid, uh, presets 10 through 13 are important. So just stay away from those uh, and you'll be fine. Um, one thing that to, to understand is that that preset that you're gonna make so in my example, preset 20, will need to be larger than the field of view of the camera when in presenter mode. So when you're in presenter mode and the camera's tracking you around, you wanna make sure that uh, preset 20 is capturing an area of the space larger than what you're gonna be seeing um, 
in presenter mode. And in this case, I have it set to upper body. If you're set to full body, you, you need to make sure this preset is larger. So, so keep that in mind when you're, when you're configuring this. So as you'll notice, uh, when you're walking around and when preset 20 is selected, and there is more than one person in the shot, the AVER auto tracking camera will detect more than one person. And after three or four seconds, you'll notice that the camera will snap to that preset, right? And we put that little built-in timer in there of three to four seconds because what if someone was walking by? That's not really a multi-presenter type condition. Or someone came to hand me a mic and then walked away. That's not really a multi-presenter detection. But if someone were to walk up and hang out for more than a three to four seconds, then it will actually snap to that preset that you have defined. Uh, what you'll see are a couple blue boxes around every, uh, everyone in the shot. Um, and then once everyone leaves and there's only one person in the shot after three to four seconds, the camera will start to track that person. And this step number seven, I kind of just explained. Uh, there's a three, four, three to four second timer that what if a person walks in the space and drops off some books or papers and then walks away? It's not really multi-presenter condition. So, so let's look at this real time. Let me bring up the web UI of the camera. So as mentioned, I have effective tracking area disabled. I'm currently have multi-presenter detection set to preset 20. This is important that you have this preset 20 enabled. This is only going to work in presenter mode. Um, it will it will follow me around as 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 normal in presenter mode, right? Uh, nothing new there. But you will notice. Let me let me do this. Let me let me amplify this larger. Okay, so you have a full view of the screen. And what you'll see, like once I walk over here, and then maybe I said, oh, I, I, I forgot something over here. It'll still track me, right? As I mentioned, there's a three to four second timer. Let's say this is the spot I would like to then pass the mic. Let me click here, click the track, just so you can have a visual on the web UI. If I say, hey, Michael, thanks for coming, three to four seconds, the camera says they're both there, then the camera snaps to this preset 20 that I have defined. You'll, you'll now see two blue boxes. Uh, this is giving the, the ability for, for someone to walk out of this space and then go back into single presenter mode, if you will. So say, for instance, um, Michael decides to walk away. Camera says after three to four seconds, there's only one person there. I'm going to track that person, right? And then I start tracking, starts tracking me around. I give a presentation for 15, 20 minutes. Let's say Michael comes back and we're going to do a handoff or maybe he's going to make an announcement about something. After three to four seconds, camera goes to preset 20. Uh, I then leave the shot because uh, he's going to take over for the next uh, 12 to 15 minutes. Camera realizes there's only one person there and will start to track Michael. After he's done, I can, I can, I can come back to that area. The camera says, OK, there's more than one person. I'm going to wait for just a one person condition. Michael walks away after three to four seconds. The camera says there's only one person there. I'm going to start tracking them. So thank you. I hope this video has helped uh, get, give you a better understanding of uh, multi presenter detection, how to set it up and how it's used and how it can be useful in a multi presenter type situation. Thank you. And good luck.